In pre previous session, we have discussed the low frequency response of BJT amplifier and then we determined a frequency response due to a coupling capacitor C s, coupling capacitor C c and bypass capacitor C. Today, we consider one example and then we see that effect of these three capacitors on the transistor amplifier and then how to draw the frequency response and then how to choose a proper cutoff frequency of the amplifier. For example, determine minus 3 dB cutoff frequencies of the circuit shown in figure. The transistor amplifier shown in figure uses a silicon transistor with beta 100, VCC 20 volts, RS 1 kilo ohm, R 1 40 kilo ohms, R 2 10 kilo, R C 5 kilo ohms, R L 10 kilo ohms, R E 2 kilo ohms, C S and C C are equal to 10 microfarad and C E 1 microfarad. For this to determine the frequency response due to F L C, F L S and F L E. This is due to the coupling capacitor C C, due to the C S and due to F L E. First let us consider 1 by 1. For this case to determine F L C S, it means we need to determine this frequency, this is given by 1 divided by 2 pi C s into R s plus R i. If you observe this equation that circuit R i is not directly available in the circuit, where R i is nothing but when you are looking into this transistor amplifier from this transistor R i from this. Here from your looking into this R i, we need to calculate R i means this R i is given by R 1 is in parallel with R 2 is in parallel with beta times R e. Once again in this equation R 1 and R 2 is given, but R e is not available means readily available. We need to determine that R e. To determine R e, we have to perform DC analysis. For this DC analysis of the circuit, applying KVL to the circuit and then find the RE value. RE is given by this 26 into 10 to the power of minus 3 divided by I e. Okay. For this means to finding an IE value, we need to apply the DC analysis for the circuit. We are interested only in the current flowing through that R e and I e. Therefore, we can obtain first a voltage, what is the voltage drop across these two point this is nothing but V b. For this V b is given by that R 2 divided by R 1 plus R 2 into V C C. This is equal to R 2 is 10 k, R 1 is 10 plus 40 into 50. This is equal to 4 volts. Once we find the V B value, we are applying k V L to this path. When you are applying K V L, then you are going to get this expression is V B minus V B E minus V R E equal to 0, where V R E is the voltage drop across the resistance R E. Then V R E, e v, R, v R E is equal to V B minus V B E. This is equal to where user say silicon transistor, then this value equal to 3.7 volts. Then the current I e is given by I e equal to that V R e by R e 
then the psi is equal to 3.7 divided by R e is 2 kilo ohms 2 into 10 to the power of 3 this is equal to 1.65 milli amperes. If you substitute this 1.65 milli amperes into the circuit then we get the R e equal to the 26 divided by 1.65 that 10 milli amperes are cancels then I e value sorry R e value equal approximately equal to 15.76 ohms. Once we find the value of R e you are applying to this then this R i is equal to if you are using this is nothing but R equivalent of a transistor amplifier it is a parallel combination in your calculator if you use effectively then it is directly equal to get x inverse button then this is nothing but a 10 inverse plus a 40 inverse plus that beta into that beta is 100 this is equal to 1.576 O inverse to the power inverse into 10 to the power of 3. This value leads to that input resistance equal to 1.32 kilo ohms. If you substituting this value into the a given, you are substituting this value into the 1.32 ohms into this R i, then you will get F L s a cutoff frequency is given by 1 by 2 pi into 10 to the power 10 into 10 to the power of minus 6 into 1.32 into 10 to the power of 3. This value equal to uh, voltage gain sorry F L S is equal to 6.86 hertz. Okay. This is the cutoff frequency of that due to the capacitor. Then from this is a 3 dB frequency from what point? Next question. Because when you plot a frequency response of an amplifier, this is to be given by like this. This is a low frequency response, then this is to be like this. This is nothing but a mid frequency gain A B. That A B mid means from this you have to take 1 by root 2 times A B mid. This frequency is nothing but F L C. For this case, we need to calculate what is the mid band gain. That A B mid band gain is given by we know that from the low frequency analysis model, small signal model A B A B is equal to V naught by V S. But already we know that if you are looking into this only this area, the input applied is nothing but here V I output is to be taken across V naught. Therefore, this split up this ratio into V naught by V naught by V i into V i by V s. From the small signal analysis, this V naught by V i is nothing but a V naught by V i is equal to minus R c is in parallel with R l divided by R e. This is equal to that R c value is 2.2, R l is 2.2 k and R c is 4 k. This value is given by this value approximately equal to minus 90 gain. Then this is multiplied with a V i by V s. A V i by V s means this is nothing but if you redrawn this circuit this entire amplifier then this circuit this circuit is to be looks like this a R s is in series with capacitor then this is replaced with R i then output is to be taken across this point is V i this is V s. Then this is given by for a DC conditions V i by V s mid band gain this capacitor is acting as a short circuit then V i by V s is equal to R i by R s plus R i. Then the gain of the amplifier equal to a this value equal to if you substitute R i is equal to 1.32 1.32 divided by R s is 
is a 1k plus 1.32 this value leads to the 0.569 then overall gain of the amplifier means v0 by vs is given by this value equal to minus 90 is multiplied with a 0 0.569 this value leads to that a minus 51.21 when you plot the frequency response of an amplifier then you have to take this a mid band frequency gain this is the mid band frequency gain response is to be like this this value is a minus 50 means negative sign indicating a phase reversal this magnitude if you are consider this is 51 ratio this is a 51 51.51 and means for, for this you have to take 1 by root 2 times that 51 this value is nothing but FLC this is equal to 6.86 hertz. This is due to the a cut off frequency of the amplifier. Now, similarly we need to determine the coupling capacitor CC. For this value FLC is given by 1 divided by 2 pi CC into R naught plus R naught plus R L, where R naught is given by that R naught is re not readily available. We have to look into this. Means we need to determine the R naught value of the input impedance, output impedance means you have to calculate this. R naught is given by this R naught R naught is in parallel with the R naught is equal to R naught in parallel with R C, because R naught is infinity then this approximately equal to that R naught value is equal to R C, then F L C is equal to 1 by 2 pi into R R C is 4 into 10 to the power of 3, R L is 5 the 2.2 into 10 to the power of 3 into that 20 into sorry 10 into 10 to the power of minus 6. This value leads to the FLC value equal to 25.68 hertz. And similarly, we need to calculate that coupling capacitance due to the sorry bypass capacitor CS that is to be FLE is equal to 1 divided by 2 pi R equivalent to into C, where R equivalent is not readily available that is given by R equivalent is equal to R s is in parallel with R s dash by beta plus R e, where this R s dash once again R s dash is also not given you have to determine that R s value R s sorry this R s not this R e R s dash is given by R s is in parallel with R 1 is in parallel with R 2. For this value we need to use once again using a properly calculator this is equal to 1 inverse plus 10 inverse plus 40 inverse to the whole inverse. This is equal to this value R s dash equal to the 1 inverse is 1 plus 0 0.1 plus 0 0.1 plus 40 inverse means 0.25 this value is equal to 1.35 volt inverse this if you substituting this rs value into 1.35 inverse means that is a 135 by 100 or 100 by 135 this value approximately equal to 20 by 5 to the 527 this approximately this is to be 27 by 28 means that is to be around 0.8 kilo ohms. If you substituting into this then that R equivalent value equal to R s dash by 0.8 k into 10 to the power of 3 divided by 100 plus R e is 15.76. This is equal to 80 plus means a 95.76 ohms.
then f l e if you substituting these values into this above expression, then you are going to get a 2 pi into 95.76 into c e value is 1 into 10 to the power of minus 6. This leads to the value 327 hertz. Means we got a three different gains. One is this is 25.68, this one is 327 and other one is FLS is given by wonder sorry this value is 6.86 hertz. If you plot the frequency response due to the individual FLC, FLE and FLS then that frequency response is looks like this. This value is to be majorly that value equal to a frequency this gain is to be my sorry 51.51 AV reciprocal. If you plot this this is to be going to get a minus 3 dB means you are going to get this value is to be a 6.86. If you plot this frequency then this slope is different and then you are going to get this value is to be about uh, sorry this value is to be 325.86. If you plot this response this response is like this then the 3 dB frequency is equal to 327 hertz. If you plot the a uh, different uh, scale in the same graph you plot the uh, frequency response of this FLC, FLE and FLS then you got this one is at 6.86, other one is at 25.68 and other one is at 327. Normally we choose that highest cutoff frequency that value equal to 327 hertz. With this uh, this and one of the example for the RC coupled or a low frequency response of BZT amplifier. If you are summarizing means you have to remember the equations of that FLC, FLE and FS and then you have to rewrite that equations which are the things if that things which are not readily available are in the circuit diagram we need to calculate R equivalent RS dash and also for this case we need to calculate R i is equal to R 1 is in parallel with R 2 is in parallel with beta times R e one more where R e is equal to 26 into 10 to the power of minus 3 by i e. For this we need to apply DC analysis. Using this you are going to simplify or solve the a numericals on that BZT amplifier. Next if you in this session we are consider an FET amplifier. A BZT amplifier sorry FET ampli low frequency response of FET amplifier. For the low frequency response is to be due to the once again you have to consider independently that a signal and CS and CC. FET amplifier is given by this is RD, VDD, there is a coupling capacitor CC and there is a load resistance RL, there is a source resistance RS and then voltage across this, this is CS and then there is a resistance and a capacitor, this resistance is R signal, this is CG connecting between that and then you have to apply there is a biasing resistance Rg, then you are going to calculate applying on Vs. This is an equivalent circuit sorry wiring circuit diagram of a strong FET amplifier and then this is given by a network V0. Here once again you have to consider the frequency response of an amplifier at Cg, Cc and Cs. Then you have to finding the effect of these three you have to take separately and then you have to calculate. First you have to consider effect of Cg. For the effect of Cg means you have to looking into this circuit then this is to be means this is to be entire amplifier is replaced with its equivalent circuit then this is given by R signal is in series with Cg and then this ampli input is to be applied to the FET amplifier. Then that signal is to be applied across this. When you are looking into this terminal, the input impedance at this point is Ri, means here this circuit is internal resistance of Ri. Then the voltage appears across this point is Vi. For this case, 
we need to find that frequency effect of that CZ and then what is the effect of this VI on this VS. For this we need to calculate an input voltage that is VI across the resistance RI. For this we have to apply a KVL to this path then we get a VS minus a voltage drop across that current flowing through this is I, I into R signal minus I into minus J x c g minus i r i equal to 0 then i is equal to v s divided by r signal my plus r i minus j x c g where that x c g x c g means that is a reactance of a capacitor is given by a reciprocal of 1 divided by 2 pi f into c okay. and R i is the input resistance when you are looking into this. From the small signal model analysis that this junction gate source is a reverse biased then this whatever the input resistance is to be applied that is because this is because of this reverse bias that world between these two points it is acting as a open circuit. Hence that R i is also equal to R g. At substituting these two into the equation 1 and uh, 2, V naught V i is equal to I into R i. If you substituting this equation 1, 2 and into the 3, then you are going to get a V s divided by R i into R i signal plus R g minus j 1 divided by 2 pi f c g. For this case, then the ratio V i by V s is equal to R i is nothing but R g divided by R signal plus R g. If you take an out, then this is equal to 1 minus j divided by 2 pi f c g R signal plus R g. If you are observing this response of this voltage gain of an amplifier, this R g divided by R signal plus R g is a constant independent of the frequency. It is remains constant for all the frequency ranges. Then this 1 minus j, it is a depends on frequency. This is varies as the frequency varies. Then we define that condition. If this reactance of this capacitor equal to sum of this, then that reactances are equal. The network transfers the maximum power then we are going to get define the term f l g that is due to the is given by 1 at f is equal to f l g then that we are going to get this a reactance of means r signal plus r g is equal to reactance of a capacitor under this condition we are going to get this f l g equal to 1 divided by 2 pi c g r signal plus R g. If you are substituting this equation 5 into 4, then that V i by V s is given by R g by R signal plus R g into 1 divided by 1 minus j f L g by f. The second term of this equation 6 is defined is to be depends on the frequency. It is also complex in nature. Then we need to represent the gain as a function of that frequency, magnitude versus frequency and phase versus a frequency. The magnitude of this V i by V s, it is a, if this term is constant, then it is a normalized function is given by 1 divided by f L g by f this is to be defined a v mid where a v mid for only for the input circuit for this case where a v mid is equal to r g divided by r signal plus r g then that phase is to be given by because in the denominator then this is nothing but minus 6 cancels then it is going to get that f tan inverse of 
f l g by f. If you plot a frequency versus a gain, then that response of the amplifier is given by this is a frequency, this is the gain ratio magnitude v naught by v i at f is equal to 0, at f is equal to 0, this will becomes infinity, then that response is becomes 1 by 0, anything by infinity is becomes 0. Therefore, the response of that amplifier at f is equal to 0, you are going to get 0. As the frequency increases, then this is a, a quadratic function and it is also the gain of the amplifier is increases exponentially as frequency varies, increases. Hence, then this is to be look like this and then increases and then it remains constant. This frequency gain is to be nothing but A V mid that is given by R G divided by R signal plus R G. If you substitute at f is equal to f l g, then v i by v s the gain equal to a v mid means you are going to get a v mid divided by 1 plus 1 square root this is equal to a v mid by root 2. This frequency means at f is equal to f l g, the gain of the amplifier is nothing but a root 2 times 1 by root 2 times a v mid. This value is nothing but equivalent to the minus 3 dB in decibels. Therefore, this frequency f l g is to be defined as a minus 3 dB cutoff frequency of the amplifier. A. Then this is this equation for this is to be named as a minus 3 dB cut off frequency, because it allows the lower limit. Therefore, it is also known as a lower minus 3 dB cut off frequency of the FET amplifier. And similarly, if we consider the effect of that CC separately, then then this complete entire circuit is to be replaced with from the small signal analysis it is replaced with R naught. For this case R naught is given by means this is an amplifier a FET amplifier then you are connecting a capacitor CC and also you are connected load RL. For this case you are measured the output. Then B, this is to be replaced with internally the entire resistance is to be R naught. This is an equivalent circuit when when V s is equal to 0, because there is no voltage source. When V s is equal to 0, this is the equivalent circuit and R naught is given by this is a parallel combination of R naught is in parallel with R d, where R naught is the uh, internal resistance of an F e d amplifier at this junction drain on the source and R d is the external resistance connected across the V d d and the drain d. This circuit can be replaced with means this is R naught C C and then this is R L output is to be taken across. Then this circuit is driven by this circuit is driven by from the uh, small signal model analysis that is nothing but gm into vgs because this gate source voltage is open circuited then therefore this is nothing but a gm into vs because at the high frequency component this cs sound effect is acting as short circuit and then you are going to get a zero you are neglected this part hence this is to be replaced with a constant voltage source is to be replaced with a voltage source then this is given by a something called we can say that V dash into this is R naught and then series with C C and then output is to be taken across R L. Where V naught dash is nothing but a G M into V S multiplied with R naught. For this circuit we need to calculate a V naught by V dash in the similar lines to the a input or a due to the capacitor C G then you are going to get that expression V naught by V dash equal to R L output is taken across R L and total resistance is R naught plus R L 
minus x c c j x c c where x c c is given by reactance of a capacitor at the coupling capacitor that is to be given by 2 pi f into c c. For this case substitute then v naught by v dash is equal to if you take R L divided by R naught plus R L minus j divided by 2 pi f c c. If you take this R naught plus R L in the denominator common, then you are going to get R L divided by R naught plus R L the one term and divided by 1 minus j 2 pi f c c into R naught plus R L. Okay. For this case, if you are observing these two expression, this expression and the previous case, these two equations are identical. Then the frequency response of an amplifier is given by that magnitude V naught by V dash is given by this is equal to 1 divided by R naught sorry R L divided by R naught plus R L that is a gain of an amplifier divided by square root of 1 plus F. L S C divided by F wall square. This frequency response is identical to the previous frequency response. Then that frequency response of this amplifier is given by like this. This gain is on A B mid divided by and then that frequency at which F is equal to F L C then this is equal to A B mid by root 2. Therefore, we can define that F L C at F is equal to F L C this is equal to 1 divided by 2 pi C C into R naught plus R L. The values of this is to be given by a 2 F L C is equal to 2 pi C C into R naught plus R L. Then that frequency response is given by this. Next, let us consider what is the effect of that SES means that is a unbypassed unbi air resistance RS. If this circuit is unbypassed, then that capacitor CS is coming to the picture. Means we need to calculate an R equivalent of a FET amplifier at this point. Here, if you consider this is your CS and then this is your RS, then looking into this, this is nothing but R equivalent. Whenever you are finding an equivalent resistance of an amplifier, we are considering that we have to set that V s is equal to 0. When V s is equal to 0, if you draw the equivalent circuit a small signal model of a transistor, you can able to understand in a better manner. If you are ignoring that effect of that capacitor or other capacitors, then this is to be gate, that is a source and then this is G m into V g s. This is equal to there is a resistance R D. Okay. To transfer the other component means you have to set that all components are equal to 0 means V D is equal to 0 and V S is equal to 0. Then this is to be looked like from the drain there is source there is a resistance R S and there is a resistance is connecting between this point is R D and then this resistance is in parallel with R L. This path is open circuit that voltage drop across this is VGS and then there is a gate this is RG. This signal is R signal. When you are looking into this path, this is resistance is nothing but R equivalent. For this case, this if you are this is open circuited, then this apply at this looking point this resistance is in parallel with this resistance and this is in open circuit. Therefore, this signal this R g and R s is not coming to the picture at this point because there is no current is to be flowing, there is no junction between these two points. Therefore, this is completely ignored to determine the R equivalent. To finding an R equivalent resistance you have to set that V s is equal to 0. When V s is equal to 0, V g s is also equal to 0. When V g s is equal to 0, this G m into V g s is also equal to 0 means open circuit. Then if you are looking into this uh, similar to the transistor amplifier, these two resistances are connected in parallel. This is to be looks like this is R D and then there is a resistance R S. 
and then these two are connected in parallel and then this is the RS sorry RL is in parallel with RC and then you are going to determine this circuit is completed. Here, here we are going to calculate the R equivalent. Then what is the current flowing through this resistance RD? Then what is the current flowing through this? This current flowing through this is ID. This current flowing through this point is ID. Then what is the current flowing through this two paths? The current flowing through this is nothing but if you are considering the current flowing through this branch, then we need to calculate this is nothing but finding an voltage up across RD. Here you have taken this point is V naught. Okay, overall voltage means the voltage at this point is V naught, and then because this is an R equivalent means we need to calculate what is the voltage. This voltage up across this is nothing but VRS. Because when this is in a self biasing circuit, that voltage up across RS is equal to the a VGS. Therefore, you are going to get a VGS is equal to minus VRS or a VRS is equal to minus VGS. Hence, that a voltage up across R D means that current flowing through that I R D is given by V naught minus V G S divided by V G S divided by R D. Then we have to calculate sorry, this is V G V R S. When applying cable, we have got this 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 is plus this is minus this is plus minus therefore, V R S is equal to minus V G S therefore, you are going to get my V naught minus into minus plus V G S by R D. The current flowing through this R D this is nothing but this then I D is equal to I D is equal to that is G M into V G S plus current flowing through this is I R D. This is if you substitute here you are going to get G M V G S plus V naught plus V G S by R D. Okay. Then if you calculating that voltage up across R S this is nothing but a V naught V R S is nothing but current flowing through this I D and voltage up across this is nothing but V R S. V R S is equal to I D into R S. If you solve for this a ratio a G M into V G S therefore, you are going to get substitute that V R S is equal to V G S then this is equal to I already we defined this is nothing but I D into R S. If you substituting here then you are going to get I D is equal to G M into V G S right V G S into 1 plus G M into R D plus V naught by R D. V naught is nothing but output is to be taken across the parallel combination of these two resistances. Therefore, you have to substitute this is nothing but a V G S the direction is to be these two currents are opposite therefore, you are going to get G M this is 1 by R D plus 1 by R D plus V naught is nothing but 1 by R D into a, a voltage up across this parallel combination of these two this is nothing but minus I D into R naught sorry R C R D is in parallel with R L. Then if you calculate I D equal to 1 plus R D is in parallel with R L divided by R D equal to V G S into G M plus 1 by R D. If you further substitute V G S is equal to once again minus I D into R S then is also equal to minus I D into R S then you have to simplify you are going to get this R equivalent equal to R S approximately this approximately equal to 1 by G M. If you substitute this I D is equal to this and then V R S is equal when you are looking at the current flowing through this is nothing but a resonance R equivalent is nothing voltage up across this divided by current flowing through this. If you substituting this a voltage V R S divided by I D that we are going to get that R S is in parallel with 1 by G M. Then this circuit is to be looks like even if you are consider this amplifier then that circuit is to be if you are consider that entire circuit is to be like this is like something called a 
parallel combination and then this is to be a capacitor C s and then this is R equivalent. Output is to be taken across this point. Because of this input signal, the voltage up across because of this parallel combination of these two, that voltage up across the uh, drain on the ground is varies as a frequency. Then under what is the condition for this? What is the frequency equivalent circuit? If you are simplify this, then already we know that for any frequency, the circuit or a network transfers the maximum power, the network transfers the maximum power, then only when and only that x c s is equal to r equivalent. But uh, this x c s is nothing but 1 divided by this is a function of frequency. Means as the frequency varies, the reactance of the amplifier is also vary, capacitor is also varies. Therefore, at all frequencies, this XS is not equal to R equivalent. Only at a particular a frequency, this uh, XS is equal to the R equivalent. Therefore, you are going to get if you substitute you at you can say that F is equal to F L S, then this is equal to F L S into C S, this is equal to R equivalent. Therefore, F L S is equal to 1 divided by 2 pi. C s into R equivalent, where R equivalent is given by R s is in parallel with 1 by G m. Okay. If you are observing that at all the three different frequencies are uh, different capacitors gives a different cut off frequencies. If you plot assuming that gain is 1 and then if you are a V naught by V i this gain is 1 normalized gain. Then if you plot with respect to the C g, then because of this input impedance is very high, R g is very high, because of that reason that already we know that F L g is given by 1 divided by 2 pi R g plus R signal into C g. This input impedance of input resistance of the FET amplifier is high and then for this uh, cut off frequency due to the uh, C g is to be lower because it is inversely proportional to the R g value because of that reason the reactance sorry frequency of this is to be very lower. Therefore, 1 by root 2 frequency is to be it is looks like it is starting from 0 then this value this is to be due to the F L g and similarly F L s this junction is forward biased. Then this is due to this is given by F L C is given by 1 by 2 pi R naught plus R L is in C plus this is equal to C C. This junction is because that output circuit is forward biased, there is because single bar that output resistance of this R D is to be approximately equal to R D, it is a smaller value. Therefore, that cut off frequency due to the R naught because we are assuming that C g and C c are equal, R naught is lower, then that response of this amplifier is looked like this. This cutoff frequency for this is to 1 by root 2, this is F L c. If you further consider the F L s for this circuit is given by 1 by 2 pi C s into R equivalent. 1 by 2 pi C s into R equivalent means this R s R equivalent is R s in parallel with G m, where we know that G m is to be in terms of micro amperes. Therefore, normally it is to be about a 6 up to 6000 micro amperes per volts. The reciprocal is to be equal to this is approximately a 6 up to maximum 6 milli amperes per volts. If this R s is in terms of some few kilo ohms and a G m reciprocal of the G m is also about a volts means 1 by 6 sorry 6 into 10 to the power of minus 3 is about 166 ohms approximately. Therefore, parallel combination of R s with 166 ohms means that a recipe denominator R equivalent is further reduced when compared to that resistance value. Even if that C s values are equal, then that frequency response of this is a increases. This is to be F L C s, F L s is also higher cut off frequency. If you are observing from these three equations that F L g is less than F L c and less than F L s. If you consider the a frequency F E T amplifier, low frequency response of uh, a F E T amplifier, always you have to choose 
on upper highest frequency of the a 3 dB frequencies. Because of that reason, that effect of that CG and CC are to be neglected when you are designing an FET amplifier or FET amplifier or this transist BJT amplifier. You are considering only the a bypassed a capacitance either CE or CS. In the design case, you have to consider only this formula and then you have to set the a lower, I want to determine the frequency response of the amplifier. You have to choose the cutoff frequency based on that a CS value. Later, you have to calculate the a CG value, corresponding CG value and CC value related to this cutoff frequency CS and then you have tried to make these all these three cutoff frequency FLG, FLC and FLS is to be almost equal and then you have to design the a FET amplifier or the BJT amplifier. Okay. Today's session we are consider the example of the BJT amplifier and also the analysis of that a low frequency response of FET amplifier. If you compare these two that frequency response of BJT amplifier and FET amplifiers are identical. Only thing is when you are designing of this amplifier FET amplifier or a transistor amplifiers are based on either use a small signal model of this is given by normal in case of a BJT amplifier you use RE model and then here you have to use a small signal model normally you have to use a common source amplifier equivalent model and then we determine the a frequency of that corresponding values. For example, if you calculate the what is the frequency response of this amplifier for example, CG is equal to 1 micro ampere RG is equal to 2 mega ohm for the given amplifier R signal is equal to R SIG is equal to 10 K. You are assuming that C S is equal to C G is equal to C C is equal to 1 micro farad all the capacitor values and then you have to choose R L is equal to R D is equal to 10 kilo ohms. Okay. If you determine that frequency response of this and also we need to assume that R D value, we are assuming that this is to be uh, about uh, 40 kilo ohms or higher value that is to be we can say that infinity and a GM transconductance is to be about a 5000 micro amperes per volts. For this if you calculate the a uh, cutoff frequencies and gain and then if you plot the frequency response of the FET amplifier. Then how do you proceed for this? For this case we need to start with a expression first you have to note down the equations. For this one that a cutoff frequency first you have to calculate A V mid band gain. A mid band gain A V is equal to first thing is V naught by V i it is know that minus G m into R d is in parallel with R l divided by G m into R d into R l. R d and R l are to be 10 kilo ohms then that parallel comma R d is in parallel with R l this is equal to 10 inverse plus 10 inverse to the power of inverse this is equal to 0.1 plus 0.1 0.2 0.2 inverse is 1 by 0.2 nothing but a 5 kilo ohms. Okay. Then if this A v is equal to this is V naught by V i where V i is measured at this point where V i is equal to this then A v is equal to minus m is minus 5000 into 5 into 10 to the power of 3 into 10 to the power of minus 6 this is about minus 25. gain of the amplifier without the biasing resistances. If you consider the source signal V s into the account then a mid A v mid is equal to V naught by V s is equal to we can stick because you have to this is by this ratio and this by this this is equal to V naught by V i into V i by V s where V i by V s is given by that voltage up across this R g divided by R g plus R signal this is equal to 
2 into 10 to the power of 6 divided by 2 into 10 to the power of 6 plus RS is 110K 10 into 10 to the power of 3. This value is approximately equal to 1 only. Because it the because of the tie input impedance, the voltage of across the tar signal generator is signal generator is negligibly small. And therefore, you are going to get a mid band gain is approximately equal to minus 25. Then that cutoff frequency is the F L G is equal to 1 divided by 2 pi R signal plus R G into C G. This is equal to 1 divided by 2 pi into R signal is approximately you can take that a 2 when compared to the 2 mega ohms this is negligibly small we can take approximately you are going to get 2 into 10 to the power of 6 into C G is 1 into 10 to the power of minus 6. This is equal to 1 by 4 pi hertz that is equal to that is pi is equal to 3.14 12.14 means approximately equal to this is 8 hertz 0.8 0 0.8 hertz 125 means and similarly you have to calculate F L E and F L C. F L E is given by 1 divided by 2 pi R equivalent into C S. R equivalent is a that R S is to be you are assuming that this is a 1 into 10 to the power of 3 is in parallel with 1 by 5000 into 10 to the power of minus 6 micro. Therefore, you are going to get this is equal to 1 is in parallel with 1 by 5 to the power of kilo ohms this is equal to 1 inverse plus 1 by 5 inverse plus inverse this is equal to 1 by 5 inverse is 1 plus 0.2 inverse this is equal to 1.2 inverse this is approximately equal to 800 ohms. If you are substituting this 800 ohms here then you are going to get F L E equal to 1 divided by 2 pi 800 into 1 into 10 to the power of minus 6. Please calculate this value and similarly F L C is equal to 1 divided by 2 pi R naught is equal to because R D is your taken infinity then you are going to get this is equal to R D plus R L into C C this is equal to 2 pi into 10 plus 10 that is 20 into 10 to the power of 3 into C C is 1 into 10 to the power of minus 6. If you substitute these values please use your calculator and then calculate the values of this frequencies and then substitute and then plot the a frequency response of these 3 to and determine the cutoff frequency due to cutoff frequency due to the all the 3 factors. With this example, I will conclude this session on the a low frequency response of both FET amplifier and the BJT amplifier. In the next class, we will consider the a Miller's theorem and its dual and also if time permits, we will discuss a high frequency response of an amplifier. Thank you.